I'm Marvin Marr. Uh, this is my wife, Linda. Uh, we live in Warren County on the farm that we grew up on. Larry Marr, and I am living in Oregon, Wisconsin, and my uh, wife, Barbara. Lauren Marr. I'm Carol Marr. I'm Roger Marr from St. Charles, Illinois. And hi, I'm Marilyn Marr. This farm was named a Century Farm uh, a few years ago, and um, we're very proud to be on the home bar farm. I'm grateful for the life I had being raised by caring parents, uh, Marvin Sr. and Frederica Marr on Wynola Guernsey Farm in Indianola, Iowa, and growing up with three bro older brothers, Marvin, Larry, and Lauren. I was a member of the B-Square 4-H Club in Warren County from 1956 to 1965. The projects that, uh, that I had uh, and all of us uh, brothers had were dairy cattle, uh, but we also branched out. Favorite memories of 4-H were probably showing at the different shows we showed at. It's like the State Fair where it's more or less a family get-together. Where we that was your vacation. Vacation for the summer, more or less. <laughs> my dairy project, the purebred registered Guernseys, was my favorite project. Learning to keep accurate records of my individual animals and following their growth and production from year to year was most interesting. Done a lot of things that relate back to training in, in 4-H. First of all, we had four children and they all were in 4-H. Uh, and I had uh, two of my grandchildren. Uh, participate in 4-H. I've always had kids of all ages, 4-H and, and high schoolers and pre-vet students that have shadowed me and we've been able to uh, give them an experience. Both our uh, children, Marlon and Marshall, were both in the same B-Square 4-H club that I was in. I helped judge uh, the local achievement shows, which was a fantastic experience. Well, we've both been 4-H leaders and we served on the Warren County Extension Council. Our girls were in 4-H. We have two adult daughters now, and they were both in 4-H. And their children are in 4-H. Yeah, it continues on. I think it is uh, important for a person to get involved in a, a goal, a project, intertwined with other people. Uh, uh, it kind of gives you a sensation of being successful. And that's the difference I always saw in my classroom. 4-H young people had a confidence about speaking in front of others, and you could tell the difference. <laughs> the pledge I first made as a 4-H club member related to head, heart, hands, and health not only helped to form the foundation for my career as a veterinarian, but also uh, served as a basis for my outlook on life. It can be summarized in three words, gratitude, service, and responsibility. I'm especially grateful for my parents who, by their example, along with my 4-H leaders and mentors, instilled in me an obligation of responsibility. Shortly after uh, our my brothers and our families uh, lost our dad and mom, uh, Marvin Sr. and Frederica Marr, we were looking for a way to memorialize and, and recognize the uh, legacy that they had uh, passed down to us and the things that uh, were so important that we had learned through our uh, guidance by them and being involved in the 4-H experience. One thing we did want to do with our scholarship was have it uh, stress leadership. We just think it's important to invest in the next generation to develop leadership skills for leaders of the future. It provides us the opportunity to give back to 4-H the benefits it's provided our family over the years. I'm amazed when we interview young people, you know, each year how exciting it is to hear what they're doing and you know what their goals and dreams are we enjoy that very much always impressed with each one of the candidates for that scholarship and their ability to communicate and to interact with us the importance of education experience uh, leadership development that all of which uh, gained through 4-h uh, will be so important uh, addressing our future, not only within uh, our local communities, our states, but uh, uh, throughout the world. This coming year will be our 21st year. We've, we've started 21 new scholars and, uh, and we've given about 40, uh, 40 or, or so total scholarships. All of us brothers have participated in helping manage it and fund, fund it and uh, so it's uh, something that uh, we feel strongly about. True inspiration came from uh, the example set by our parents and, uh, and the leadership and uh, involvement that they had in their uh, 
professional organizations and the community in which they live. Investing in the 4-H program youth development is uh, the best bang for your buck there is as far as <laughs> difference for uh, kids and, and families, and it's not all just farm families. 4-H offers kids to be around other children, maybe not with the same experiences that they've had. The program is built uh, to cover uh, such a wide area, and that you couldn't get that kind of value out of any other program that I can think of.